Welcome to Back to the Basics, the series where I show you how to do cool stuff related to Minecraft servers and modding. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server. Now before we can start making the server itself, there are two important things you need to choose. First of all, where do you want to host your server? Do you want to host it somewhere external, so for example at a server hosting company, or do you want to host it at home on your own PC, which we refer to as self-hosting. Second, you need to choose if you want to run Minecraft plugins on your server, yes or no. Depending on if you want to run plugins, you need to install a different type of server software. After you made those choices, we can get started. The first step will be downloading the actual server file. This is the file you will need to run for your server to boot. If you don't want to run any Minecraft plugins, you can download the vanilla Minecraft server file from minecraft.net. I'll leave a link to this page in the description down below. You can simply click on the name of the server file and it will start downloading. It is literally that easy. If you do want to run Minecraft plugins, you need a modded Minecraft server software that actually supports them. Like for example, Paper. But there are many more options out there and it's completely up to you which one you want to use. I would highly recommend Paper though. Once again, a link to this page can be found in the description down below. Simply click over here and it will download to your PC. After you downloaded the type of server you want, it is time to actually make the server itself. Let me first show you how to do it at an external host. Now if you're still looking for a place to host a Minecraft server at, I would highly recommend checking out channel partner Alienhost. I've been hosting at them for a few years now and experience has been incredible. They offer great servers for decent prices and if you use code Kasasara at checkout, you can save 20% off of your first month, which will of course also help me out along the way. Now the location might differ for you, but somewhere on your panel you will be able to find the startup settings. And over here you should be able to find the name the server jar files should have. In other words, if the server file we just downloaded has the name server.jar, this panel will recognize it as the server jar and actually boot the server. So what you want to do is simply go to files and over here we're gonna upload the jar file we just downloaded. And there it is. Now all you want to do is rename this jar file to simply server.jar. Then click on rename and you're good to go. After that, back on the console, you can click on start. It will ask you to accept the Minecraft EULA. Simply click on I accept over here and there you go your server is online if you chose for a modded server software like paper you will now have a plugins folder as well if you chose for the vanilla one of course you won't you can now simply use this IP address to join your server and you can also give this to your friends so they can join as well now allow me to show you how to do it on your own PC. Over here we got the jar file, but we can't actually use it yet because we don't have Java installed on this PC, which is required. I will leave a link to this website in the description down below, but over here you want to download Java. Now depending on the version of your Minecraft server, you might need a different version of Java. For Minecraft 1.21.4, Java 21 should be fine. So we're going to click on JDK 21 over here. After that, I'm going to click on Windows. But you can, of course, also do this on Linux or Mac OS. And then you want to download the X64 installer. Then you simply want to run that EXE. It will take you through a very regular installation. So just click on Next. Then click on Next again. Then you wait for a bit. And then we're good to go. Now you simply want to create a new folder on your desktop. And you can name it anything. I'm gonna call it subscribe because I would appreciate it if you did. Then you want to open up that folder and drag in the jar file we just downloaded. After that, double click it and you'll see that it starts generating some files. The one we want to take a look at is eula.txt because this is something we have to accept first. Simply change the line that says eula false to eula true and then save your file. Then double click the jar file again and your Minecraft server is now officially online. Now you can already join this server yourself by booting Minecraft, going to multiplayer and after that adding a server with the server address local host. You can see a server pops up, we can join it and now we're on that local server. Your friends can't join yet though, because by default they won't be able to connect to your home network. You can solve this by either port forwarding or using another service that utilizes tunneling to allow players from outside to join your local server. I'll be making a dedicated video very very soon about how to do that. And congratulations, you just made a Minecraft server. And that is gonna be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord, thank you so much channel members, and then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, see you later, bye bye!